Hey guys, it's Kevin from HailGraphics.com. Hope you're having a great day. Today's drawing is another subscriber request, and that was for the Fortnite Goth Girls, also known as the Crypt Crashers Pack. They are some variations of uh, some already existing skins. And what you have here is Night Surf Bomber, Midnight Dusk, and Arachne Couture. Now for this drawing, I just thought I'd have fun uh, showing the three girls kind of just hanging out together, having a good time. The majority of this drawing was spent just doing the line art. Uh, the coloring actually went pretty quick, but as always, when I'm drawing Fortnite characters, I never know what to expect detail wise. And um, a lot of times um, the shirt designs or buckles end up adding a extra time getting all those details in. So as I'm drawing these girls, I'll draw a portion of one and then start on the other to try to get the spacing correct before I you know completely finish one on Instagram I just posted an early sketch kind of a sneak peek to how this would look or at least the poses would look at the end always looks funny to me at first when I'm drawing uh, open mouths or showing a smile and you don't have the actual lips drawn yet and if you're interested in how I came up with these poses I always use a lot of uh, drawing references and I actually had a request for a tutorial on showing how I get my Fortnite poses so I'm gonna be posting that pretty soon if you're interested So yeah, this was another thing as I was drawing them, I didn't realize they all had bracelets on. I didn't fully notice either that a um, Arachne, she has a bunch of uh, web patterns on her legs, which can also take a decent amount of time to create. So I started coloring them here, I wasn't really sure 100% uh, what the final color of the skin was going to be. Um, there's different pictures, some of them show their skin as being more gray, and then there's other ones that show their skin as being uh, very pale pink. But in the end, I think I went with somewhere in between just to make the colors work a little bit better together.
Now in here I'm kind of doing a different technique for coloring this time. I'm basically blocking out large areas that I'm going to have as lighter shadows. And as you can see in this image right here, um, everywhere that I've marked in the, the dark, the darker pink color is where I'm going to add some highlight. And then everywhere in the blue is where the shadows will be. Even though I've zoned out areas, I don't intend to fully uh, color in those areas. I'm just going to use an airbrush tool and kind of lightly hit the edges of those areas. Um, but it just gives me some control in preventing the uh, airbrush from spraying over to other spots. Mapping out the areas can take a little bit of time, um, but then the, you know, the shading goes pretty quick afterwards. When I was drawing this, I completely forgot that um, Bomber's shirt has, you know, that, that dark llama on it um, with the volcanoes in the distance and smoke and uh, so essentially doing that I had to do a whole nother drawing And here is the final version. What do you think? I added a little web into Arachne's hand because the original pose I used, the person just kind of had their hand sitting there and I wanted to actually have it doing something. So it's kind of like she's just spinning web around the outside of the environment, almost like she does it without thinking as she's having a good time with her friends. All right, so that's it for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not a subscriber, consider subscribing. And thanks to all my subscribers out there. I really appreciate it. Thanks to everybody who sends in um, ideas for drawings. I will be back next week with more. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.